time for the big reveal. Are you ready? Let's take a look. Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you live. Okay, not live. I'm coming to you for my brand new beauty room. Newly renovated, newly decorated, newly make, made over, makeover. You get what I'm saying. You guys know that I moved and I'm decorating the house. I am very slowly, but this room I wanted to put my focus on first and really prioritize because obviously my work is makeup. My life is makeup. So I needed this room to be on point and basically make this my work zone. I have my beautiful desk here now that I edit on and I get a lot of work done in this room. So I really wanted to put a lot of extra special time into it and just invest in it. Next up will be my film room because that needs a major makeover too, but I'm kind of going slowly room by room and this was top of my list. I'll try and link a lot of the stuff that I mentioned down below in the description if you guys are interested. Before we get started though, <laughs> you know I'm coming in hot with another new merch item. We got the Baby Girl S Club crop top. It is so cute. I love how it's a little bit boxier in the shoulders, but drapes really nice. And you guys have been really loving the new apparel, which makes me so happy. I'm getting such great feedback. Pretty sure the joggers are like one of the best selling items. We already have small and medium sold out. So thank you guys so much. It makes me so happy when I put like so much effort and like thought into these items. And I think they're so cute, but obviously there's a little part of me that that's like scared you guys won't like them. So literally so happy that the feedback has been all great. But if you haven't seen the new items yet, check it out. Link will be in the description as well. Make sure you hit the red button and subscribe to my channel before we get started. And without further ado, let's show you what this room looked like before and get right into it. You're walking into my beauty room and it is a mess right now. Jasmine, you're here to help me, please. Well, honestly, this is gonna take forever. Here, we already have the pack system set up. Everything will be tucked away in those drawers. It'll be a lot prettier. And what I had before, I was using these acrylic drawers. I'll probably still keep a bunch of these to keep stuff more organized. And that used to be over there, but I tucked it in the closet to just make way for the pack system. It was good for the time being, but you know, we got to upgrade. We got to level up. Still looks a little cluttered when everything is open like that. And then this side is a complete mess. So we're also going to use this as kind of like a giant walk-in closet room. And this side is going to hold all of our extra tech stuff. So our chargers, our batteries, it's mine and Charlie's stuff that we'll have in the wardrobe here. So that's coming in tomorrow, but today we're gonna get started on moving a bunch of the stuff from the acrylic drawers into the pack system. I kind of labeled each drawer to have a good idea of where I wanted things, but I feel like we won't actually know until, you know, we start filling the drawers and see how much space everything takes in the drawers. And then we'll kind of just go from there. And this side is a complete mess. Over here, we have a bunch of like my memorabilia and like some special items like that brands have sent me, my picture from when I came out with my palette with BH and just a bunch of stuff that I kind of want to showcase a little bit better than obviously just having it all in a corner here. But we're gonna try and kind of set up everything really nicely so everything has a spot. And over here, we have a really nice desk that I still really like, but I'm gonna move this to the guest room. And over here, I wanted to have like a cohesive theme with the Ikea stuff. So I bought a really long desk that should take up the majority of under the window and then some more drawers to go underneath it just for some extra storage. And so I have somewhere to put my printer and obviously edit or work. I think that'll look really good, but that's also coming in in a couple days, I believe. So we're waiting on that along with the wardrobe system that's gonna hold all of the electrical stuff. We still have a lot to do, so we're gonna get started and start filling up these drawers with my makeup. Won't you kiss us in the morning light? Wanna be next to you every night? Oh, I shouldn't love you, but I might. Cause your lips, they taste like cherry wine.
that can be seen You got that one thing That's hard to come by It's not your styling It's not your jeans No, what you got is deeper within And your friends don't even know what you got They just hang with you cause you earn a lot You should lose them all and start hanging with me Cause I'm the only one who can see I don't need your dreamy eyes, your dreamy eyes, no I don't need your pretty smile, your pretty smile So give me something to do, yeah I can't stay here because I need to dance Jump, jump around and show them how I move So quick update, the room is coming together. But honestly, this has taken a lot longer than I thought it would. Like I knew it would be a big project, but I didn't think it would take this long. Mostly because I didn't order everything all at once. So a lot of it has just been waiting for stuff to come in. Like I had to order more organizers than what I initially had. I was missing a piece for this wardrobe. And then these Alex drawers were out of stock at Ikea for the longest time. So I had like half of my desk. We're almost there, so close to being done. I have the majority of my makeup is in there right now. I was just waiting on more of these dividers. They're actually meant for the pack system, which is amazing because they fit in here perfectly. But look how good it is at just organizing like the different brands of lipstick and just kind of separating the makeup that way. It's really helping to organize everything. My desk fits perfectly across the window, just how I wanted it. I'm so happy with it. This is the carpet that you might recognize from my apartment. I got this from Urban Outfitters. It's a marble pattern. I love it so much. Totally my aesthetic. And I did customize this pack system for my Kia because it's for all my makeup. I had to make sure there's enough drawers and everything but this is also a pack system but this one was one that's kind of pre-made and I just added my own little tweaks like I've got a separate cover so then this part wasn't out in the open I mean it's not totally set up yet but in here I'm gonna put like my tripods and stuff so those are ugly like I didn't want them out in the open we got the cover close it up there and that's why the pack systems are so sick I'm just shook at how good it is at organizing everything so love that definitely a fan but I didn't think of it first obviously shout out I think Manny did it and then Laura did it and thank God for you two because now your girl found an even better way to organize everything and I definitely wouldn't have even thought about it for organizing my tech stuff and now I'm just addicted like I'm gonna do my jewelry I'm gonna do everything I want to build many closets <laughs> I need to stop myself but yeah I'm always looking for better ways to organize so if you guys have any other tips or cool Ikea hacks that you found that help you organize your makeup or whatever it is hit your girl up because I live for good organization so even though the majority of it like looks done there's still a lot of little things that I want to do like here we still have all of our our wires and stuff out here charging. So I'm thinking I wanna drill a hole behind a couple of these drawers so then I can just fish the wires through the holes and then they can sit in the chargers and we can actually charge our stuff in the drawers so they're not kind of like out here. This all still needs to be organized. We're gonna probably put baskets in there so we can utilize more storage space. Gotta put some more decor items up there, fill up these bad boys. But this is the desk that was built today. I got this chair from Wayfair. Wayfair has really decent prices, but I'll try and link everything down below. I wanna get some sort of like pillar or something to put this on top of since this is literally my pride and joy like look i've never looked better literally best time of my life when my palette launched so forever want to have that memorialized this thing i've had for ages it's great i put all my most of my mac lipsticks in here there's still so much to do i want to hang you know some of that stuff this closet is still an absolute mess and you can see i still have a lot of acrylic drawers that have some makeup products in there like the concealers some more lip products so i'm going to continue organizing and trying to get everything 
everything in there. And I've been kind of getting rid of some products, you know, as I go. But once I get everything in there, I'm gonna take one last look and really just try and be as strict as I can and get rid of the stuff that I'm not gonna reach for. So I'm gonna try and do a little decluttering as I'm organizing. This definitely needs somewhere to go because it's not gonna stay right there. It has this matching little director's chair with my name behind it. So I don't wanna get rid of it. Thank you, Too Faced. I keep all of my nail products in here. It's so cute. It's a little vanity. The lights actually turn on and it has all of my nail stuff. And initially I did have this whole pack drawer centered in the room, but I thought that it was gonna collide with the desk. We had it all moved over, but it looks like I actually have a ton of space over there. So I'm gonna go back and center this in the center of the room and then maybe even push this completely next to it. So it looks like it's one big kind of wardrobe. But so far so good. I'm so glad I decided to like take this project on and finally reorganize all my makeup, but we're almost done. And I am just so relieved and happy with how it's turning out. It's just such a better way to have everything organized. I just feel way more like at peace when my life is organized. So the fact that I have this entire room just dedicated to perfectly organized items, all of my tech stuff, all there, you know, it's just a good feeling. So it's definitely feeling really rewarding and I'm really excited to finish up. Let's continue organizing, putting the rest of my makeup in there and then adding the final touches. Ooh. I'm FaceTiming my mom right now. I want to show her. She'd be so proud of my organization skills. Mom, so that holds all my makeup. That is so nice. And this is my desk. What's, what's the red? Is that like tags? You have everything labeled or what? Yeah, because I'm, I'm in the middle of organizing it still. So I just kind of put post-it notes like for what is going to go in what. So it's not ready yet, but I just wanted to update you. This is my new desk. It's from Ikea too, but it fits all across the window. And then this is for all my like tech stuff. Oh, nice. Because you have that stuff in baskets. and. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And now with Charlie's stuff too, we have like a jumble of tech mess that's like we never can find anything. So all of it's going to be oh, organized that, there. That is so nice. Literally, I need you, mom. The house is a mess. You need to help me redecorate everything and <laughs> help me organize. Ever since you moved, all I can think is I wish I was there to help her. No, oh, I love you, mom. Sunshine, why are you playing with my head? So don't let me down I chase away your shadows Away from the crowd I give you my tomorrow Forever now Spotlight from my cell phone Sounds like it's your ringtone I get chills when you call Wanna give Time for the big reveal. Are you ready? Let's take a look. -see.
let's take a look over to this area. We've got the IKEA desk. I got this light recently from Home Goods. It's so pretty. I decided I want to do kind of like a gold and white theme so it matches that perfectly. And then next to my desk, I just decided to put my little nail station here. And I got this frame from Benefit. They sent it to me, so I love that. It's so cute. Thank you so much, Benefit. I had to put that up here. Let's talk about all this. I want to put this entire wardrobe kind of centered and then have this wardrobe pressed up directly right next to it so then there's no space in the corner but I have to hire a handyman to come and do that because it's so heavy I definitely can't do it myself so for now I'll just show you how it is and then on this side we have my BH cosmetics display this is really special to me so I wanted to have it displayed although it's kind of tacky to have my face everywhere but like it's fine these are my accomplishments it's okay I'm allowed to hype myself up and then these are just some side tables that I only put there temporarily but I did purchase this little pillar that is all black so it should match and go a little bit better but again this entire entire corner here is a little awkwardly big but once I move the wardrobe directly centered to the room it should be you know a little bit smaller and go a little nicer there I also picked up the S and C from home goods here I thought it was a cute little touch along with the great plans start with an idea sign and same with these little bins I don't know if I want to swap them out for maybe something a little bit more glam because I'm doing more of a glam vibe in here and these are more farmhouse but it's fine okay this is just literally picky Sylvia in my brain it's it's fine it does what it needs to do for now so this entire wardrobe like I said is just filled with Charlie's and mine filming equipment and all of our cords. So in here we have space for, you know, extra lenses or our mics, things like that. And in these drawers, I have the dividers separating, you know, all of our chargers, basically random little things that we need but can never find. So it's way more organized here. Same with this drawer. We just, those dividers are so helpful. Just small little things. A lot of these are still empty, but I'm sure we'll find ways to fill them up with way too many tech stuff. And in the last drawer, is where I want to be able to kind of feed the wires through but for now you know I still have to wait for a handyman to come in to drill a hole behind there so that's kind of just shoved to the corner but you get the idea so this space is what I'm talking about that won't be there at all I want to have this wardrobe completely lined up with this one and then it'll kind of look like one giant L shape in here we have junk for now okay <laughs> we're still organizing but we got my tripods in there stabilizer and just the bigger items that don't fit in the drawers and we need to be able to see them easily it will go in there we'll probably put put maybe some backdrops or whatever in there. And then in the decor stuff, we have my MAC lipstick organizer right here. I have this beautiful rose that a brand sent me. I have more pretty rose decors. This custom Sylvia Goni BH kind of painting here that I got from my PR company as a gift when I came out with my BH launch. So I love that so much and I just like how it's displayed up there. And then this is my little Mac area. This is the PR package that was sent out when I was repping their Powder Kiss lipstick, a little tamed for their Powder Kiss campaign. I got this from Tokyo when I went with Mac and it's filled with a bunch of face charts that I can practice on, but it's my own face. Excited about that. If I want to try out new looks, not on my face, I'll be drawing them on there. And I got this piece from Home Goods too. It's so cute. It's just a bunch of different lash styles with the days of the week. And I do want to put that up on the wall kind of right here, but I'm waiting until we completely move the wardrobe a little bit more to the side so I could put it in the right place on the wall, but I'll just leave that here for now. But now let's look at my makeup wardrobe. I'll show you guys how I kind of organize everything, what's in each drawer. So my bottom drawer here, I have my setting sprays. I obviously still have a lot of space in in there I kind of just use the divider to separate from different brands so we've got Mac Studio fixes and all Macs up there Tarte and Too Faced but it's still kind of all over the place you know I'm still looking for better ways to organize and here I have my primers and again I kind of got these thinking they'd be fine from Ikea but I feel like I need smaller organizers so I can organize by brand and be able to find everything better but for now I just have all of my bottled primers drugstore primers more drugstore primers that aren't in like that container and then here are all my high-end primers and then here I have face oils and body oils and then these are my concealer drawers side by side this one is drugstore concealers and this one is high-end concealers again organizing mostly by brand these are my foundation drawers which I still have to go through a lot of these drawers and declutter I kind of just threw everything in trying to get this project done but maybe I'll do a decluttering video for you guys if you want to see that but these are all my high-end foundations and these ones are all my drugstore foundations and then these are my lipstick drawers I probably have the most lip products 
products from all of the makeup that I have. But again, I had a really hard time organizing with these dividers just because they're really short and most lip products are really tall. So they kind of just are flimsy and go everywhere. So I want to probably get like little baskets and organize by color or by brand that way. And these are my high-end liquid lipsticks. And then in here, we've got a mixture of lipsticks and lip glosses depending on brand. And these are the high-end ones. And then these are the drugstore ones. All of these drawers up here are filled with my palettes. We've got face palettes in here. We've got BH and ColourPop in this drawer. And then another drugstore palette drawer up there. I need my stool to get up here. This is handy dandy. And then here we've got high-end palettes. I tried my best to have them laying flat like this so I can kind of flick through them and see the palettes a lot better. And this is my lip liner and eyeliner drawer. So we've got all the eyeliners, the organizers I got from Cosmo Cube, which honestly I'll probably check out again to see if they have any other acrylic organizers that might help me organize the smaller products a little bit better. And then this is my eyeliner little container filled with gel eyeliners, pot eyeliners, eyeliner pens. And then this is my brow drawer. Again, still having to go through this and find smaller little organization tools that I can use to go through those a lot better and ha not have them just kind of shoved in like that, you know, but you get the gist of it. This is the brow drawer. And then my last drawer is probably one of my favorite drawers just because it's so aesthetically pleasing. I kind of layered them like this so I can flick through them and laying them vertically like this gave me a lot more space than laying them all sideways like that. And then the mascara drawer, I have these organized by drugstore versus high end. And then I have some eyelash glue and random stuff there. And this is my eyeshadow primer drawer. So we've got all my eyeshadow primers, but I also have a mixture of kind of like colorful eyeliners and some eyeshadow cream sticks, but I'm gonna have to reorganize this. And then this is my pigments and liquid eyeshadow drawer. So we have a bunch of different loose pigments. In the back, I have jelly eye products here. My Stila liquid eyeshadows, love those. Some more drugstore options for liquid shadows. And then this bottom drawer here, we have just all of my loose eyeshadows and single eyeshadows and some more paint pots. Kind of tried to organize these by color for the most part. And then moving on over here, we've got my loose powders and pressed powders. So these are all my loose bake setting powders. The drugstore over here, high end over here. Here. And then pressed powders are all kind of just organized. High end here, drugstore, drugstore. Then like loose powders in the back. High end over here, some more drugstore. And then this column over here will be much easier to get to once this space is gotten rid of. But I've got my highlight drawers here. I have two highlight drawers for powder highlights and then liquid highlights. And then I kind of organize these by brand or high end versus drugstore. We've got all my Becca ones, drugstore, more like loose highlights back there, Too Faced and a little bit of benefit. The super hyped up brands like Fenty, Kylie, KKW, Jeffree Star. And the liquid highlight drawer. I love me some Patrick Ta. These are bomb. This is kind of like my high-end section. I got Marc Jacobs, Farzali, Tom Ford. The bottled kind of liquid highlighters, Tarte. Drugstore bottled cream highlight. And then the stick highlights over here. And then the drip highlights. And this is my blush drawer. This is kind of organized again as much as I could by brand. Got Too Faced over here got Mac Jouer hourglass and then the back here are all my drugstore ones that I can kind of flick through and this is my bronzer drawer right here we've got some high-end ones love me some Tom Ford bronzers hourglass and then Too Faced I love the chocolate soleil bronzers so I have those there some bronzer palettes and then some cream bronzers over here and then down here I have all my extra brushes I'll probably reorganize these because right now it's really hard to flick through them I have an empty drawer here so I'll probably do eye brushes and then face brushes underneath. And then this is my special effects drawer. So I have a bunch of face paint. I'll usually use these for Halloween looks or, you know, more crazy looks, face paint. We got fake blood in here, special effects gel, Mayron makeup, face palette. So I use this for my Halloween looks. Some extra drawers here, just got lots of space. So gonna probably go back in with a lot of the stuff, do a decluttering video, reorganize a bunch, maybe find some smaller baskets for the lip products. I also have a bunch of sunglasses. So I might pick one of the drawers to put my sunglasses in. So that's basically it for my beauty room transformation. I did kind of go through all of the drawers very quickly. Like I was saying, there's still ways that I just want to organize some of the drawers a little bit better, with like my brow products and everything. So give me some tips if you have any ideas of like what baskets or organization that I can use in the drawers. And when I do a decluttering video and go through everything, I'll do a more in-depth kind of tour of my makeup products and what products I decided to keep and what products are my favorite and you know, all of that. So 
So we'll get more into it and do kind of like a longer and more in-depth collection review in a future decluttering video. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But yeah, that's kind of why I was just going through them really quickly because I just wanted to get this project done. Leave me a comment down below if you do want me to do kind of the same type of video when I decide to redo my film room. I'm gonna start ordering a bunch of stuff for that, like the soundboards and a bunch of other stuff so I can go more in depth on what my film setup is. I am gonna be redoing the entire backdrop situation and creating more of a decor backdrop so I'm not always using a paper backdrop and you guys get more of like, you know, an aesthetic. And of course, check out the new merch, Baby Girl, okay, always so cute. Uh, link will be in the description for that. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe by clicking this button right here. Check out my other videos of mine by clicking one of these boxes, okay? Have a Sylvia Gandy marathon. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you for watching. Mwah.